Hey, what's up, guys? It's DKV here. Um, and I'm here to talk about, basically, the Barbarian post-nerf. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people saying that, you know, they're quitting the game because Barbarian's dead, that Whirlwind's dead, that you can't perma Whirlwind, that Barb's hard nerfed. And I'm not gonna lie, the nerfs were pretty massive, but I still think the build is more than playable, and it went from basically being broken, like, S-plus tier to the best skill in the game. So I think it's now around, like, A tier, um, and I'm here to, like, showcase it. Uh, so I'm in World Tier 4, I'm gonna run, like, a Tier 25 dungeon for you guys, and kind of show you my clear, and, like, how the upkeep is, in case you're wondering, like, what a... I'm not endgame, but, like, I think there's a lot of, like, level 40 and 50 barbs that are wondering, like, how Whirlwind feels post-nerf. Um, and so my gear isn't anything insane, I'm probably gonna make another video describing, like, all my thoughts on the build, and what you should be looking for, and what I learned. But I'll just hover over everything real quick so that you guys can see. Uh, it's definitely not insane gear at all. It's like what you should have by this level. And you see how don't even have like all my gems slotted. Uh, and you can see that this is post nerf because this is only six seconds. Um, so let's look at my skill tree real quick, just in case people are wondering. And I am taking the node that costs more Fury, by the way. So you, you'll see my Fury generation here. I'm not taking damage nodes like this is just crit damage, this is damage, this is damage. I'm going for a more tankier build of like life and damage against elites. So uh, I'll shoot, flash the Paragon real quick. Basically taking Marshall. I'm taking Exploits. And I'm taking the Legendary Node Warbringer. And... Just taking a few of the things, but I don't have the threshold for most of them. Alright, and let's go hop into a dungeon. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm here at the dungeon, and I forgot... Like, this unique is not important to the build. Uh, it's rare, but I don't want people like in the comments saying that like I got killed by the unique, so I just won't have a secondary offhand. Uh, we'll go ahead and run this one right here. So it's like a movement speed, attack speed 1, there's no like insane cooldown reduction or anything like that. Uh, it's a tier 25. Uh, I forgot to put XP in my last one, that's tragic, but it is what it is. And this is just mainly to showcase like the Fury generation, how often I'm keeping up Whirlwind, how quick I'm clearing, how much damage I'm doing. Um, so this is a tier 25, and as you can see, I'm level 72. So these trash mobs, I just wouldn't bother with. Um, I'm going to shout in here and spin a little bit. Try to just clear that for XP. As you can see, I'm melting elites. These elites are 79, I'm 72. As you can see, my Fury is also just completely fine. You just basically kind of want to avoid spinning on like non elite mobs or mobs that aren't that dense. Like, single, single mobs, you'll burn a lot of your Fury. Like, I don't really want to spit on these, but at least they do have damage to where they die quickly. And this is just how I would clear the dungeon. Like, you could clear every mob for XP, but I think it's better to just, like, clear the denser areas, clear all the elites. So like, this is where it's awkward against like one mob, but it's not really that big of a deal.
fury. As you see, like when I pull in a lot of mobs together on top of the elites, I have a ton of fury. Call the ancients if you're out of fury. definitely really want packs like this where it's like multiple elites standing on top of each other because you can basically sustain it without your uh, war cry up. I'm not ready yet. Here's like a solo lead without Warcry up. I, I won't actually use Warcry for a sec, just so you guys can kind of see a Fury on top of like a solo lead. Yeah, I'm kind of getting frozen to death, so I will just pop Warcry. Warcry gives CC immunity, so it's nice. I'm mainly showing this just to show like the Fury upkeep, and so that's why I was kind of trying to do that. Not ready yet. <laughs> You know, they nerf our crit, we just get lethal shrine, guys. Not ready yet. Okay, so these dense areas is what we love. We don't love being walled off. Not ready yet. And there's a dungeon complete. And just to show you guys that it's like it's not like I changed my skill, like I do have the node that makes it cost more fury. Um This is definitely the patch. I don't even have the max fury for here. So yeah, that's kind of like a build run. Let me know what you guys think. I still think it's completely playable. Um like obviously these are 79 mobs, like before the patch I was killing like level 85 mobs. Uh, and the uptime's, you know, not the best, but I think it's more than enough, and it's actually better than most builds. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think.